In three, two, one. And welcome back to Janky AF and my Janky Life. Would you like to say hello, Leonard? This is Lenny. He is a, a very talkative little kitten. Okay, so real quick, I don't usually do this, but let's do a fit check because I'm, I'm kind of jazzed. This all happens organically. We have these green PF flyers. You know, what do they say in uh, uh, the sandlot, but run faster, jump higher, all that. And then we have, I, I, I always wear two pairs of socks. Maybe because the socks I have aren't great or the shoes I have are too big because they're all like broken in and worn in, but it's just more comfortable, especially working on a job site. So we have these orange striped socks, which you'll see in the full context work very well. And then we have these great verticals. So we got, you know, it's horizontal and vertical, these sort of like kind of old timey red and gray white stitch. And then as we climb up, we got the great flamingo leggings into uh, a, you know, painted on sort of off brand. Uh, I don't know what that logo is, <laughs> gym short. And then we'll go into, of course, the orange painted sweatshirt and your obligatory Bills hat, go Bills. We are wearing a G-Shock, which my great buddy Andre gave me. Um, very nice of him. So this is like sort of my work watch. So, uh, you know, I like to wear these, these leggings and gym shorts. I tell you, not only are they fashionable, but they are extremely comfortable. I like a gym short. I like how comfortable they are. I've been accused of um, inventing Adam Sandler's style before it was Adam Sandler's style. Uh, as Dave Matthews said, guilty as charged. And uh, But with the leggings underneath, especially in a cold climate, it's pretty cold out today. And uh, it just uh, gives that extra little support and warmth. It's great to paint in. Uh, I've been painting a canvas recently. Maybe you'll see in a future episode. So there you go. Anyways, there's the fit check. Okay, matching very nicely is this door. I showed you this before and I gave you a little preview or shoe for good luck there. Um, but I think today we'll really get into the garage space. Um, and this is janky. So uh, shout out to my brother and sister-in-law. They gave me this great uh, clapper, which now has become a knocker. Oh, try again. Hey, so I got the, uh, you know, I got the clapper in the, in the shop, which is great. So I do own uh, an original clapper. So that's kind of fun. Okay, this is like, we're not going to get through this in it. This will probably be a two parters. We're, we're not going to get through all this in 10 minutes. That's for sure. But uh, we have musical equipment in here, paintings. This is a, you know, a, this is not, I'm not a political, but whatever. It's, a, it's an apolitical painting. You get it as an apolitical, so not political, but whatever. Okay, so we got all these janky paintings here. It's become sort of a repository, great basketball lamp. I love this for um, a lot of my crap. And the hard part about the janky lifestyle right now and, and why I'm doing this series to try to motivate myself to de my life is because I, I, I'm supposed to do tax stuff today and it's so hard to do thing A because there's always thing, there's thing one half A. There's not a decimal that comes before a letter in the alphabet. I'm trying to get to thing two and I can't even do two because one's in the way, but I don't want to do one. I would love to just relax this evening and take it easy, but I got to do all this tax information because I have piles and piles of paperwork that I got to sort through. Everything takes longer, everything's slower, and there's always bumps in the road to do anything because this is my janky life. So this year, we're not buying anything. We're only getting rid of things and we're making a concerted effort. Look at this, Schmid, on roofing. On roofing is to, is to make a call. That's my friend in Switzerland. We haven't talked since way too long. I need to catch, I wanna, you know, start talking with people more. And, and you know, some of you have watched this and Janky, do thank you to all the, the kind people that have chimed in. It makes me feel like I can share a little bit of myself and, and have that little connection. So. That's what we're doing, but uh, you know, in the six minutes I have remaining here, I'll just show you a brief uh, synopsis. These are daisy wheels. They're so cool, and I want to put them in my Prius, but I don't know if they're going to fit. They fit the, the bolt patterns right, but the lug nuts won't fit in there because they're so small. So I don't know if I have to get aftermarket lug nuts or if they just won't fit at all, and I'll just have to sit on these for another three years before I finally sell them. The clapper just went off. It's a little finicky. That's kind of why I don't use it in the main house, but... She's working hats. I have hundreds of hats that I just have to get rid of. You know, I'm gonna try to, I want to jankify some of these and like sell them, but then that takes more time, more effort to actually paint over them, make them janky. I have a little hat man here um, and I have a hat lady too. So, you know, 
uh, everybody's represented. So there you go, that's kind of nice. So I painted this wall white, which I thought was quite smart. So this is my photo wall. I have a little hook up there. I have a table that I put on wheels that I got for free, of course. All the paint I got for free was from, you know, disposed, discarded paint from other people. And I painted these sort of like a semi-gloss. So, you know, you can see where it stops right there. I've done a lot of work in here, but you know, there's a lot to go, obviously. There's Lenny, he wants to go outside. Let's let him out. Okay, Lenny, come on. Come on, go ahead. He's got a cute little tuchus, doesn't he? All right, so, uh, you know, just toilet, old toilet projects, guitar projects. Oh my, shout out to Ken and Carrie. They found that on the street in New York City. And actually, it's pretty, the resonance is pretty good. I'll turn off this dehumidifier for a second. Sorry about that noise. It sounds pretty nice. It's got to get a tune up. One of eight million things that needs to get done. This kind of episode is going to be a little all over the place because honestly, I don't even know where to start. Um, this mirror, and actually this will get hung up. This isn't this a crazy, like kind of 1950s, you know, like atomic arrow with these stars and everything mirror. Some of the paneling is falling out, but I think I'm just going to rip all this out. And eventually I'll do like a really cool paint job on it. It's a mirror with built-in shelving. There I am. Hey, beef janky. Um, so, so little pockets and stuff found it for free on the side of the road and I was like well I gotta take it but now guess what it's just sitting here amongst all this crap so I think I'm actually gonna hang that on the wall there's a spot for it and it's not a bad idea to have a mirror in there and most of all it just gets it out of the way so I uh, picked up I actually did buy this because now here's another thing the waste of money I have hanging wire I know I have hanging wire where is it <laughs> your guess is as good as mine so I went out and paid $3.50 for this hanging wire just so I could hang this mirror because I want it up today and I don't have time to look through all this crap or, you know, me getting this up helps this get it out of the way so I can do other crap. So it's just this endless, endless battle. This thing, I've had this thing for years. You know, I was gonna paint it brown to try to make it look like my Aerostar and I got the, the prime base coat on, but who knows when I'm gonna paint all this, you know? <laughs> it's just insane. Oh, this is my janky life. Look at this. This is actually one of my proudest physical possessions. This is a painting by Kevin Coyne. If you don't know who Kevin Coyne is, uh, look him up. He is a British uh, singer, songwriter, writer, artist, painter, like one of my all time favorite people, largely unknown, but absolutely astounding. So I bought this off of his widow, Helmy, shout out to her. Very reasonable. If you're looking to buy uh, art from an established artist who's under the radar, uh, get some Kevin Coyne art while you can because, um, you know, as he uh, appreciates over time, so may his art. Probably not. I don't take investment advice from me. I'm, you know, this is my uh, <laughs> empire of crap. But I actually, these, I, I probably wouldn't make money on this if I sold it. This is a Washburn uh, Slammer base and it's uh, Rudy Sarzo's signature model. And I bought that in high school and I will never get rid of that. So we have shoes. Now it is relatively organized, kind of, sort of. This is all clothing, which I want to either jankify and sell or just sell. And I was going to hang it on this wall, take pictures of it, list it. But the other thing is I do everything so, you know, it's a good, it's a good attribute. I do everything very, um, uh, I, w I would say systematically, but you're not going to believe me, uh, methodically, you know, so it takes me a long time to list something because I don't want to be that person who has a crappy listing. I want to be honest and, and, you know, represent it well and have measurements and all that. So to actually list that stuff, to get it out of there, to make some money, to pay off debt, you have to have time. And I'm stuck in this terrible thing where I either have, I'm either working all the time to make money and pay my bills so I don't have any time to do all this crap, except these little wonderful episode, episodes, and thank you for joining me. As soon as I take a little bit of time off to try to make a dent in what I have to work through here, then it's time to go back to work. You like my great lighting system? Uh, it's run off of a breaker, and you can tell just how uh, quite uh, <laughs> distracted I am. There we go, there's even more light, look at that. So we got good light on the wall there for taking pictures. And uh, this is all this all this laminate flooring that if you've seen the episodes where I'm doing the tack room for my sweetheart, we got all this free laminate flooring. And also I got some, you know, underlayment to put down that was also free. So it's going to start to fall into place. You know, you get this down, that gets some stuff out of there. And as it, it is a snowball effect, as you get rid of stuff, it gets easier to make progress on the remaining stuff. So once the weather really breaks this year, it's been a cold kind of March you know, I, last time I was out here, and we'll wrap up with this, 
it looked just about like it does now. But in between those two episodes, there was about a foot and a half of snow here, and it's finally all melted off. So we can sort of start to begin to make progress. Again, move the Jetta inside, do all of that. I wanna paint all this in this beautiful dark green. That all has to get done. I mean, the list continues. You can see the house with the Tyvek and the sheathing on there. It just never ends. So that's a little, uh, you know, sneak preview into this space. I've cleaned this space out, believe it or not, four or five times, and it's been perfectly nice and clean in here. I have little time lapses of it. I, I try not to edit these episodes much, so, you know, you'll just have to see that in a different episode, but uh, I got this TV. This worked fine, and now it kind of works, but the backlighting on it is starting to go, so I should just get rid of it, but of course I'm like, well, we can fix it. I can do something. You know, typical classic hoarder mentality. Like, you don't, you don't want to get rid of anything because you think it has value, but the real value is actually having a space to work in. So that's what we got to deal with. More shoes. These are one of my original painting shoes. I want to put these in like a little shadow box. I do, I do think that would be cool to kind of like document the grind, as it were, um, as a wonderful artifact to the art of slamming and painting houses. Okay, we're running along again. We got to cut it off somewhere. So there you have it. Uh, another day in the life of Janky. Uh, Janky, do thank you so much to all of you for watching. I'll probably do another episode in here. I mean, I could shoot an entire another episode on just stuff and crap that's in here. But uh, I'm going to, maybe I'll pick up a little bit actually, get this mirror hung, and then the next episode we'll have some progress, which is the whole point of doing this series. You look at Korn's uh, used... Broken Appliance Emporium. All right. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll have another episode coming for you very soon. And until then, janky-do-thanky. Janky-do-thanky.